welcome back in this video we will be studying conditional ratio the concept behind conditional ratio or else we can also say equation based ratio what we have studied till now we have studied k concept and the application the application of k concept application of k concept and also we also studied a shortcut technique by using this k concept this is an advanced version of this k concept and the shortcut which was useful to solve questions very quickly but this video is about another type of questions in which you have to frame equations to solve it very quick so this is called equation based questions so this type of questions also you will face this kind of questions in the examination in which you have to frame equations and just on the shortcut will not help here. So let's solve one example. I mean what I want to say in this video, I'll explain you to the form of an example. Look at this question. There is a classroom. There is a classroom in which there are certain boys, certain number of boys and girls. And the ratio of boys and girls in a class is 5 is to 8. So how will you start these kind of questions? As I told you in the K concept, if the ratio is given 5 is to 8, so number of boys will obviously be 5K. And number of girls will be 8K. Now let's move on. What's, what's given next? If, look at this word, if, this word tells you indirectly that it's a conditional ratio question. It's a conditional ratio question because it will set up a condition of this. And these conditional ratio based questions, you have to frame a equation to so solve this question properly. So let's move on. If five more boys join the class. So if five more boys join the class, it means the number of boys will be 5k plus 5. And uh, if five more boys join the class, the ratio becomes three to four. What, what what happens? What happens if five boys join the class? There is no change in the number of girls, so the, the number of girls becomes eight k. Unchanged. There is no change in the number of girls. So in this case, the ratio, the ratio of boys and girls becomes three to four. This is given in the question. So how will I frame an equation out of these data? 5k plus 5 is the number of boys and 8k is the number of girls and this ratio is 3 is to 4, so 3 by 4. So this is the equation which is useful to solve this question. I have I have written so much here, but this, this writing is actually this much of writing is not needed in an examination. If you can write this directly from the starting of this question, you are doing good. And the, the many students, many students also do start writing from the here. So try to write the technique from this step itself. So 5k plus 5 divided by 8k equal to 3 by 4. So there is a need of cross multiplication here. So let's do the cross multiplication. 4 into 5k plus 5, this becomes 20k plus 20, this becomes equal to 3 into 8k that means 24k and if I arrange k in one side so it becomes 4k equal to 20 so k is 5. Once you find the value of k your question is almost solved. Now now let's try to find the number of girls in the class. So what are the number of girls in the class? Number of girls is 8k so 8 into k, k is 5, so 8 into 5 equal to 40. So find the number of girls in the class, the number of girls in the class is 40. So this is a, this is an example of equation based ratio. I will, I will also present another question in which you have to find the values by using these techniques. Uh, so it says like the ratio of boys and girls in the class is 2 is to 7. So I'm writing here B is to G. So 2K and 7K. It is given in this 
first statement the ratio of boys of boys and girls in a class is 2 is to 7 so boys 2k girls 7k if six more boys join the class so 2k plus 6 because six boys join the classroom so 2k plus 6 if six more boys join the class and four girls leave the class leave the class means they leave I mean they, there is a need of subtraction here 7k minus 4 four girls leave the class the ratio becomes 3 is to 8 so in this case after this scenario their ratio 2k plus 6 divided by 7k minus 4 is 3 is to 8 so how will I write it 2k plus 6 divided by 7k minus 4 equal to 3 by 8 there is a need of rapid cross multiplication so 8 into 2k plus 6 this becomes 16k plus 48 this is equal to 3 into 7k minus 4 so this becomes 21k minus 12 keep k in one side so 16k comes here and becomes negative so 21k minus 16k becomes 5k and this number has to be shifted to the left hand side and it becomes 48 plus 12 this becomes 60 so 5k equal to 60 this becomes k equal to 12 if you find the value of k your question is almost done now the, now let's move on to this question what what exactly this question is asking find the number of boys in the class so the number of boys in the class is nothing but 2k so 2k means 2 into k k is 12 so 2 into 12 this becomes 24 so this is our answer so in the next videos we will be we will be solving few more questions like this from conditional ratio but uh, what you should practice you should practice the technique which is useful to write these kind of equations from the very beginning there is no need of you know writing this much of information in you know, a step by step if you learn and focus here you can start from these equations so learn like this and if you have any doubt in these videos re-watch it to understand better good luck see you in the next videos